The Samsung S9 is basically the S8, but with a nice looking ass around back. But that does mean all your S8 cases no longer fit the S9. So I've compiled a list of my favorite cases, best top cases for the S9. So let's check it out. First on the list, this time around, Rinky has taken over the slim category with, well, their slim case. It's literally called slim case. Made of a very thin and light plastic and a one-piece design, it has a matte finish that you just can't resist touching, holding, and just sleeping with on your first date. It's raised just enough to cover that new fancy camera, complete cutouts for all the buttons, and a tiny detail I really appreciate is the separator from the Bixby button. No issues along the bottom, and if you're really into it, a cutout for a lanyard or a really cute Hello Kitty charm. But in the end, the case is all about its lack of size and this finish you really have to feel for yourself to understand. Ugh, I never want to let this go. The runner up is even less of a case, the Rhino Shield Crash Guard is simply a bumper that wraps around the edges of your phone. Your backside is completely exposed and if you're a true minimalist, this is the one to go for. I know what you're thinking though, what's the point if I can't protect my phone? And well, although sold separately, they do sell a clear back protector that is a must have for any naked case. Combine with the fairly thick bezels along the top and bottom and throw on any screen protector of your liking, Rhino Shield also offers one too, and you've got 360 degrees of coverage while barely adding any sort of bulk. The buttons are responsive and clicky, and although don't stick out as much, you can still feel them out. The slim down side edges allow for no obstruction of any gimmicky side screen functionality you probably never use, and most importantly, it still packs in that honeycomb structure on the inside I tested on the previous S8 model that handled all of this. Yeah, you can say this can handle a bump or two. Get it? Because it's a bumper case. Anyways, just don't skimp out on the back and screen protectors, you cheap ass. Now, if you're normal and like the rest of humanity, then you don't like dropping your phone. Basically, you need to either super glue your hands to your phone or buy a grip case, like my favorite, the Spec Presidio Grip. Paired with their Impactium, these air pockets on the inside, and these thick rubber bezels around front, you're pretty covered if you ever decide to go full Spartan on it. The grip patterns around the backside is the real moneymaker, though. They don't stick out so much that it feels unnatural, but offer enough texture to feel confident using your phone when handed. Basically, don't worry about how the case does when you drop your phone because you probably never will. Buttons are covered and very responsive, and if you're a super klutz, then the Impactium has your back for most of your boring everyday lives. It is on the pricier side, so for a more affordable textured option, the new Patchworks Mono Grip is a quarter of the price, not as geometrical looking, but just as grippy in a different way. They've opted for this sandy matte feeling that's way better than a smooth finish, complemented with much smaller finger ridges to grasp onto. But this all-around texture is still comfortable and has a much cleaner aesthetic. I mean, the camera cover is made of metal. That's just classy. Buttons are on the smaller side, but the slits around it make it very responsive. A solid feeling one piece case with a thick lip around the top and bottom. It's a unique finish, and although I enjoy feeling it up, may not appeal to you if you're not into a rough, sandy, rubber feeling kind of thing. Now, for the style category, it's quite a subjective topic. So these are all winners in my books and offer a range of vibes. There's this cloth like Adidas Boost style going on, carbon fiber for you badasses, and this one that looks like recycled dress pants very fancy. It's the Incipio Esquire and is actually a soft cotton finish with an elegant interior lining to top off the look. I can verify it is a real cotton like feel, but whether it's ultra soft like their description says is up for negotiation. Buttons are covered and the case is thick enough to keep the lens scratch free. Lips around the top and bottom with the side edges staying fairly low to accommodate the curved screen. Although super stylish and realistic, just remember cotton does soak up all that chicken wing sauce and may not wash out as easily. So if you really want to just do whatever the f you want, you're going to need a case that plays the part too. The Sadio Perfectus is a very slim shell with a carbon fiber pattern throughout the whole case. Although great to look at, it nonchalantly has this dotted texture along both sides of the case that makes it feel like a tactical weapon. And with the lack of actual buttons, gives this case a super stealthy vibe. Don't worry though, with a little common sense, you know where the buttons are and they surprisingly click easily too. The textured edges and soft matte finish should put this on the grip list, but it's super thin design and lack of lip don't offer much in terms of protection when you do drop it. Finally, what I call the Adidas Boost, it's the Samsung Hypernet case, which also sounds like it could be a shoe I can't afford. It's literally what the name says, a knitted back texture. Like if your grandma knitted you a case, this is what she'd come up with. 
Jokes aside, it actually has hype beast vibes to it. The texture is there, but again, is something to look after if you sweat or never wash your hands. The metal looking buttons top off the premium touch to the case. Again, not a super protective case. The whole bottom is missing, but you can still throw this onto a table with confidence. Comment below which case is your style. Now here's the category most of you are looking for, a tough case. And my pick goes to the Rhino Shield Solid Suit. They offer several back finishes. I've got the rugged carbon fiber look going on here and an overall very slim case for the amount of protection it offers which if you've been living under a rock is this. That's all thanks to a honeycomb pattern liner that's designed to handle up to 11 foot drops. It still feels sleek in the hand though thanks to the slim down edges but the top and bottom lips keep your screen covered while the rest of the case deals with this. A slim tough case is hard to come by. Now if you don't mind some extra girth, then check out my runner up case, the mouse case. Both great options in the protection department, but mouse offers a few more back options. Don't worry if you're Asian, they have bamboo too, which is my favorite. It's a smooth and sleek finish, so don't expect anything super grippy and it's slightly thicker than the solid suit. Buttons are still clicky, your camera is covered, and who doesn't like a little seashell by the seashore? Slim edges here too that don't affect your finger wrapping and solid lip around the front screen for this. The magic in this case is the green liner on the inside though, they call it aero shock but some may call it magic because it can handle these drops without an issue. It's when I did my review for the iPhone X case that really shocked me. A solid case you can't go wrong with, slightly more expensive, but offers a range of premium real material backings to choose from. This was one of my favorites for the iPhone X, the VRS Damda Folder Case. It basically transforms your S9 into a flip phone. By no means is this a slim case, but it can proudly hold up to 6 cards. Let's see your little wallet attachment do that. Some may not like the set size of the case, but I think it's great because it can fit other small objects like SD cards or if you're a normal person, a condom. Don't worry though, the door securely springs shut so no one will find out you're a size medium. A smooth plastic finish around the back shell with textured rubber sides on the inner sleeve that actually does help with holding such a large case. Buttons are responsive as usual and that hump, although it won't make the prettiest hump day photo, it's actually useful to help me maneuver the phone one handed. The legs on the back are a nice touch but don't really do much and your finger can still be red. Not a super protective case, it's got a thin lip around the screen but it's fat ass can cushion drops quite a bit. The potential downside is whether you have one, zero or five cards the case will always be this thick. Otherwise, the whole case is thoughtfully built with a solid hinge design and quick and easy access. But if you carry less than what feels like a gazillion cards, then the Speak and Slim Armor CS may be the sleeker option. I've only got it here for the S9 Plus, so bear with me. It's got a hidden sliding door compartment design that locks in place to hold up the three cards. And based on my experience from other devices with this case, the cards aren't going anywhere. The buttons have room for improvement but do the job just fine and it does have Spigen's staple matte black finish that feels really good in the hand. A thick enough case to keep your fancy camera covered with a fair lip around the front as well. Now if you don't have a black card to show off, this hidden design may be for you. If you really dig the idea of hiding stuff, the new Spec Presidio Folio Leather is my favorite wallet style case. It's got a locking plastic door on the front cover that can fit three cards comfortably without anyone knowing. The cover stays slim while the cards don't scratch up on your S9 screen. Made of a fancy leather, I can't verify its actual quality but I can tell you it feels nice. A clean stitch all around and a curved in edge to complement your hand when holding the case closed. They've included their Impactium Defense which is the rubber lining on the inside of the case and around the screen. Basically, a lot of air pockets. Retrieving your cards is easy by lifting up the door with a little oomph and it stays securely closed once you snap it back in place. It's no one trick pony either, the case also doubles as a stand that can actually hold its ground fairly well in our scientific tap test. In terms of protection, I would have liked to have seen the front cover stay in place when dropped but it flapped open 80% of the time due to its extra length. Otherwise a great looking case unless that's not your thing. Instead if you're looking to show off you just wasted $800 on a new phone, the Nomad Clear Folio is the runner up wallet case. Mainly for this though, the super nice and fresh Horween leather they use. It's basically a stamp of approval that this is the real deal. With a traditional design of three standard card slots and a larger side pocket you can fit extra cards or any flat object in. It starts off fairly bulky but you have to give the case some time to break in and loosen up. The detailing on this case really seals the deal for me. Buttons work as expected even through the thick leather and cards stay in place but may loosen up over time as the leather breaks in. One handed folded back is comfortable too thanks to the rigid front design. And protection comes in with that nice front bezel and that big piece of leather that you hope stays closed when you do this. 
Give this case some time to grow some character through every drop and scratch and you'll have a one of a kind case in no time. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Now, depending on how big of a show off you are, and you may just want a clear case. My favorite going to the Extoria Defense Shield. It's got a damn aluminum frame strapped around a clear plastic back sheet. So at least now you can constantly see how much money you wasted in a super bad looking case. The harsh edges and feel of cold aluminum makes this feel like a whole new device. The case redirects the speakers to the front, although with minimal results, buttons are responsive and a good sized lip around the screen. It's really just this aluminum that merits attention. Diggity dog, that's one badass motherfucker. Anyways, let's test that clear back now. Looks like having it in your pocket can scratch up fairly easily, so avoid that. But the rest of the case is spot free and can definitely take a beating. You'll definitely catch some attention with this baby. But I know y'all aren't badasses, so go with the Speakin Ultra Hybrid. A tried and true case through the test of time and every device I've ever owned. It's an all clear case and you can ignore that bubbling in the center because I have a back protector it's sticking onto. It's a case that just works at a really good price point and has everything you need to get through your miserable office job. Thick enough to keep your camera covered because you gotta insta store your lunch later. It's got air cushions in the corners for light drop protection, but by no means is this a tough case replacement. And now, key test time. Not bad. The rubber doesn't show or scratch up as easily, and for the price of a Chinatown manicure, I'd say skip protecting your nails for a week and cover up your phone in what looks like nothing. Last category, folios, with my favorite going to the Autobox Strata. Although it does have a card slot compartment, it can realistically only carry one card, making it a terrible choice for the wallet category. It's got a thick leather front cover, standard Autobox signature use of plastic and rubber, and that thick and bulky feeling in the hand. You can use the card slot for an ID or Metro card, something you can't store in your phone, but don't expect it to replace your wallet. The leather feels great in the hand and will patina well over time. A thick shelf with a Samsung S9 to sit comfortably in, but it's this magnetic closure that takes the trophy for me. Flexible, easy to use, and most importantly, it actually stays in place. A small cutout for the phone speaker when it is shut, and standard cutouts everywhere else. The buttons are a little mushy, but I love the round design when the folio is closed, making it comfortable to hold in the hand. The Strata lacks the ability to go into a stand mode, but that's one less piece hanging further than it needs to. Folded back, the magnet works to keep the cover in place too, which for anyone that used the folio case before knows how vital that is. The front cover does flap open, but only after impact when it's already saved your wallet from dropping hundreds on a repair. Typical autobox protection with the added front cover makes it a 360 degree solution. The card slot is just a bonus, you can pretend it's not there. But for what the Autobox lacks, the runner-up official Samsung Clearview standing case makes up for. The back is this soft cushioning material, it stays as slim as possible for a folio case, so the case feels good, but it also works gooder too. Good gooder The front cover actually lets you interact with the phone still, swiping left and right for different widgets. You can control music and even answer your calls directly without ever opening the case. You'd be surprised how useful quick access can be. Buttons are cut out, ports uncovered, and this bar across the camera and fingerprint reader is super vital to signaling my finger to stop moving forward and smudging up my camera. Such a small detail I wish other cases did too. Unlike other folio cases mentioned, this auto magically turns your screen on and off. This folio does have a built-in stand that magnetically clamps off and on, and it just works for all your hands-free viewing pleasure. Although covered all around, the case itself is fairly light and lacks a lip around the screen and any coverage along the bottom. So although quite a smart case, it's fairly flimsy, a trade-off for some cool new additional features though. Links to all the cases down below, including any discount codes I have. One of the cases I keep putting my S9 back into is the Patchworks Mono Grip because it just surprisingly feels so good and the metal and rubber combo is just so elegant. Or sponsored or not, the Rhino Shield Solid Suit is a great choice if you drop sh a lot and not always on purpose like I do. But on that note, a big shout out to Rhino Shield for sponsoring the video. It's a huge support for what I do on this channel, but I had complete creative freedom and all the pins expressed are from my own brain. That's it. New store link below for accessories and merchandise like this shirt and old accessories I no longer use and you can pick up at a bargain price. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite case was. I rest my case.